My name is Akinlade Omobayi Abdul Salam. I am a Nigerian and I am currently a sixth year student of Ternopil National Medical University. As a Nigerian, you know, you come to a new country, you meet um, different people that are from the same place with you and you see people that uh, have somewhat the same ideology, the same interests, and they've come to create a union where, you know, they can help students, right? So it felt... It felt very nice to be able to be part of the union because from my second year, I became the director of sports for the Nigerian Students' Union, where you know, we were able to organize some sports events in basketball, table tennis, badminton, volleyball, just to make students you know, feel more relaxed when they can you know, participate in this sport activities. Uh, I was also opportune to be re-elected and I was director of sports again in my third year. Then from my fourth year and fifth year, I became the senator representing my course in the Nigerian Students' Union and it's been it's been very great for me you know to be able to serve the students as a nationality like to serve them as a national of my um, country and also to just be able to help people when the need arises so it's, it's been very good for me. Well currently I, I like football I really like football even from when I was in Nigeria I played football a lot so I got here I was playing football and then subsequently I became the captain of the Nigerian football team here and uh, I used to play football sometimes, so when I went out, I saw a Ukrainian, he approached me, he said, I look like I can play football. I don't know why, maybe because I'm tall. And he asked me, I said, yes, I play football. And he said, okay, I should come and try out for his team. And uh, I think maybe two weeks after, I went to a small um, trial court. And then I tried out and then he said, okay, I should be coming to train with the team. And then since then, I've been training with the Ukrainian team as well. So it's been nice, you know, being able to play with the Nigerian students and also for other nationalities as well as Ukrainian team. For me, the students' parliament is, is similar to, you know, the Nigerian students union any opportunity that I can get to you know to help people to be able to make a difference in my own little way I, I try to take it and try to do it to the best of my ability so in my I think my third year I was um, approached by someone that oh I, I think you can you know do this like why don't you look into this and I looked at the students parliament and I saw you know what it stands for what it can do for the students and I tried to you know be elected and by God's grace people voted for me and then since then I've just been trying to you know help students not just making a large initiative but also being able to address the issues of every individual student that tries to approach me and I try to do this to the best of my ability. So being able to continue doing this to see students be happy whenever you're actually able to help them is very nice. So if students actually you know keep giving me the chance from my third year and fourth year and fifth year I would obviously love to stay and continue trying to do this. I've always just wanted to try to you know help students or try to you know help as much as I can which is the main reason I'm even trying to be a medical doctor so you know so it's 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 been a very it's been a very enlightening experience for me and I'm very grateful to all the students that actually gave me the opportunity to serve up to this point it's it's it's, it's enjoyable for me it's, it's it's very important you know uh, the Nigerian Students Union you know is just a Nigerian student but when you come to the students parliament you're working with people that Ukrainians Indians Ghanaians Congolese people from various nationalities, it gives you this sense of, you know, you actually get, try to learn other culture, you try to see how people are there, you try to get different ideas, different initiatives, and it's, it's, it's something that has actually helped me, and I think it will help me in the long run, being able to, you know, understand people, work with a group of people, and even understand some languages, you know, you hear your fellow representative, you know, talking in their language, or trying to pick up some Ukrainian here and there, it's, it's, it's very nice, and I'm, I'm grateful for it. I mean, we're here in medical school, right? We came here for the love of medicine, right? And it's like, okay, anything you can do to further rejuvenate this love of medicine, you know, I try to do it from my point of view. So I think sometime before the pandemic, we were able to organize the first rector squeeze. Rector squeeze, we didn't just have it with um, African students, you know, we had the Polish team, we had the Nigerian, the Ghanaian team. We also included the Ukrainian students. However, we were not able to, you know, um, give a direct translation to Ukrainian language for them. We just, you know, had those that understood English and were able to, you know, have, okay, not just African students, but Ukrainian students. And this year, after the pandemic, we felt it was only needed, you know, people are getting, let me say, they've sort of lost the interest before. So, okay, like, let's do a medical quiz. Let's get people, you know, excited about medicine again. Let's get people to come and try and test their knowledge. Like, okay, this medicine thing is still very interesting. And we try to, you know, go a step further. We try to now translate the questions also for Ukrainian students so it can be 
be like a fairground. So we had the questions in English as well. We had people from different European um, countries. We had from African countries, India as well. And then it was a very nice event. You know, you see people that very smart, you know, very smart, quickly try to answer questions, you can see the teamwork. That's the whole essence of, you know, organizing these events, being able to bring people together to, you know, do what they like, meet people, interact and actually create a very nice event. So, yeah, congratulations to the winners of this uh, quiz once again, but it's a very nice event and I hope subsequently this becomes like a mainstay in the university because I think it's very, it's a very great event. For that one, I get this question a lot because a lot of people say, you're always at Dean's office, you're always doing this and it's just like, so like I said, you know, helping people, it's, it's something that I enjoy doing, right? So, you know, being able to help students, first of all, I don't find it as something stressful, even though sometimes it can be overwhelming, but generally it's something I enjoy doing. So it's not like something that drags me down. And then when I try to prioritize, and obviously I'm here for my education, first of all, and I just try to manage my time well, you know, face my class whenever I have to, do my extra reading whenever I have to, and it's very important to have a working team around you. I've worked with amazing people, people that you know have the same ideology, they have the same mentality, that same zeal to actually help people. So it lessens the burden for you when you're actually working with a team that you know is on the same page as you. But I don't know, it's just been easy to balance to some extent because I, I enjoy doing it. it. It gives me like a sense of accomplishment as well. So it's, 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 it's a nice balance. I have worked, you know, in different parts and in the different unions, different communities. So I've been able to work with different people. So I've worked with people in the Nigerian Students Union, the president's very helpful. I've worked with generally the African Union. I've worked with um, presidents from other countries as well, like the Polish Union. And even within the parliament team, you know, working with people like Shumayo and Kaiser, very, very, very dedicated people. You know, even my current team right now, working with the new people I have, I don't know, everybody I've just seen or I've come to meet within the parliament or within the different unions I've worked in, they've always just had the same zeal to help people. And that is really all that matters or it's one of the major things that matters to actually get the um, job done. Before I came here, I would always say, you know, football is my number one hobby. So like I had mentioned, I still get the chance to, you know, play football everyone and uh, here and there except for you know, when it's snowing and then we can't play ball because I really enjoy playing outside. I don't really like playing indoors. So maybe during the winter, I can't really play outdoors. But then I also, I also sing, I'm into music, right? So I've been able to you know, continue that hobby here. Uh, I've been able to perform at different places. I've been able to you know, continue writing my songs and release songs and yeah. And I also write poetry, right? So I've been able to write poetry. The kind of poetry I like writing is like picture poetry right where you just like see a picture and then you just get the idea of what the picture is saying and then you just start writing and it's very nice for me because I always like to put like a twist in my poems so these are just things I do in my free time to you know just relax or just you know distress basically as a student myself I know I know it's difficult it's difficult not just being a student but being a medical student as well you know and with the pandemic you know we all have sort of taken like a toll down but we just have to tell ourselves you know to continue striving for growth and for the love of this medicine because that's really the only thing that will keep you going so when you try to just continue striving for growth try to you know continue trying to improve yourself in you know medicine and even not just medicine extracurricular as well because that's something that you would actually find joy in as well so always try to you know get better don't try to you know focus just where on like where you are right now and just stay without moving just try okay this is where i'm going this is what i'm trying to do these are the things i need to do to get there and just try and be consistent as much as possible it's easier said than done but it's what we can try to do and i think that's that's what matters my future specialization first of all when this question is asked to me i think internal medicine maybe cardiology but then most of my friends they say they know i'm going to specialize in either pediatrics or gynecology and i don't know honestly because Somewhat, these are the subjects I, let me say, I do more extra things in, you know, like conferences and research. So I don't know how that's going to turn out, but I would just think cardiology, but we'll see how that goes. Ukraine and Ternopil, honestly, I didn't expect it to be this cold. I, I didn't expect it. I think the first year I came, they had like a snowstorm. The temperature was going to like minus, 
a very negative number, like minus 20. So as a first year student, you know, coming to a new environment, it was very shocking for me. I, well, I got to see snow for the first time. So that was a nice experience. But Ukraine, particularly Ternopil, I actually like Ternopil because it's like a small city. I like, you know, it's not so large. You, you can get to everywhere in a very short period of time. You know, people, it's ha it has this like warm environment, not warm in the sense of, you know, atmosphere, but like the atmosphere with the people it has like warm environment and it's a very nice place you know uh people you just, you just know people around you know and it's, it's a very nice you know family based city to put it short